Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Okay. My name is Gregor Snedden. I'm a priest in the Diocese of Ottawa at St. Luke's Anglican Church uh, in Chinatown, which is an urban uh, ministry, a, a mission field. We have the highest density of rooming houses in the city. And uh, I, our parish was very fortunate to receive a grant from the Anglican Foundation for the restoration of our uh, nave, where we're redoing our floor and putting in a, an inlaid labyrinth, as well as removing our pews and replacing them with chairs. As an urban parish uh, and, and as a small building, which we share with uh, St. Luke's Table, a day program where we feed up to 200 people a day and other in-reach programs, we need to have a very flexible and adaptable space to be able to offer our traditional ministry, our traditional forms of worship, but also alternative uh, ways of, of meeting people where they're at. So this grant from the Anglican Foundation has allowed us to uh, make these changes. We've had a very um, uh, popular labyrinth program in the city, the longest running for several years. It was housed in Lindsay Hall, where we run our day program. And as you can imagine, uh, 200 people a day or so, it begins to wear off the labyrinth that was there. And it's not always the most aesthetic kind of space. So the inlaid labyrinth now in our worship space will allow us to um, uh, provide a more contemplative, uh, meditative experience of the labyrinth. Aside from that, not having pews and having chairs allows us to still have a beautiful space, but adaptable and flexible to meet those different needs. So we're very grateful uh, for, to the foundation for that. I was fortunate to receive a theological uh, grant to support uh, the uh, MA that I am currently doing at St. Paul University in Ottawa, uh, Masters in Theology and Eastern Christian Studies. Um, this allows uh, me to uh, pursue my studies while in full-time ministry, having a family, uh, you know, trying to stretch those pennies. This really allows me to be able to pursue uh, my further theological development, which I think is so critical for us uh, who have leadership responsibilities in the church as we navigate our future as a, as a community in Canada to be able to deepen and understand the depth of our faith so that we can make wise choices and uh, uh, celebrate Christ Jesus.